give glory to God for another time, another period, oh, that the Lord has been very faithful unto us. The King of kings and the Lord of lords has been doing his marvelous power, things in our, uh, among us. Uh, we want to appreciate his name. We want to exalt his name. We want to appreciate him for being faithful. He is a faithful father. And he said he will not leave us alone. And he has been doing this every time. Today is the 20th day, the day that the Lord has made, that we should rejoice and be glad in it. And we thank God for being faithful unto us, for giving us that power, for giving us that might, for giving us everything that we need so that we can be who he said we should be so that we can get everything that God has purpose for us. Oh, we thank God for, for that. And today is the 20th day. I want, I want to clear this before we start praying. We have this, today is 20th day, but we have 17 days for people that miss Sundays. For people that miss Sundays in their, in their own fasting, we have 17 days of length, that is, if you miss the three Sundays that, that has passed by, but if you are going by the days, then we have 20th, today is the 20th day, and we want to appreciate the name of God for being faithful every time to us. He has never left us, and he will never leave us alone. And that is why we are so glad in him. We are so happy that God is doing this wonderful thing 
and he said he will always be with us and that is what he has been doing so let us pray jehovah jesus christ holy michael father lord we thank you we appreciate you we exalt your holy name be thou exalted in jesus mighty name we thank you for the fourth day we thank you for the second day the third day the fourth day now the 20th day that you your faithfulness has been with us your strength has been with us and you have never left us alone be thou exalted in jesus name father lord we are going again into your word and into the prayers oh lord go with us let your mighty power let you move in our midst we thank you because you have answered us in jesus mighty name we pray amen in jesus mighty name we pray amen let somebody shout it a very big amen in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah 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 we thank god we thank god we thank god and today is the 20th day and what god is going to work with us with is the psalm 20. psalm 20 that is what god wants to use to speak with us and what are we going to get in this psalm we will soon get into that very soon psalm 20 that is what god wants to use with us and i pray that as we go prayerfully with this psalm god will surely answer us in jesus mighty name amen and we want to look at what is in the psalm itself but before we look at that i want you to pray this prayer father as i journey with you lord or even on this 20th day let your mighty power let it work with me i want you to do to just pray that prayer let your mighty power let it work with me i want your mighty power the power that has been working with me before before now i want that power to work with me today and i don't want to just pray today without having the results i want to see the result of my prayer can we just open your mouth and start praying start talking to god that today oh lord i want to see your hand i want to see your hand in the name of jesus visit me oh lord even in this today's prayer i want to see i want you to visit me i want you to visit me oh lord father lord visit me today visit me today in the name of jesus i want you to visit me oh lord i want to see you i want to see your power i want to see your anointing oh lord in the name of jesus father lord i don't want to just go as see if i don't know the god i'm serving i am serving a living god and i want the living god oh to work with me to do his marvelous thing in my life oh can you just open your mouth and start praying i want you to pray consign it today i want you to pray consign it this period i want you to pray consign it this day the, the word of God that is going to come today. I want you to start talking to God. I want you to start talking to God. Father, Lord, I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you. Magnify yourself in my life, O oh Lord. Magnify yourself in my life, O oh Lord. I don't want to just go without seeing you. I want to see your mighty power. I want to see your mighty act as you used to do, O oh Lord. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Today, O oh Lord, let me see you. Let me see the anointing that is in your name. Let me see the anointing, even because I'm going, my trust is in you, Lord. Let me see the power of God that is always with his own people. Let it rest upon me. And as you are praying, God will surely answer you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us go into that psalm. We want to go into the psalm. Yes, uh, we know this psalm very well, especially if you're a member of the Church of Christ, this is a psalm that we always recite after the silent prayer. But I want to point out some things unto us that is just bigger than reciting that psalm and then we say amen. Because there are two, three, four things that we need to know. And then when we now ask God to come into our midst and act as he's supposed to act, then he will surely do that. Hallelujah. So God is ever present help in time of trouble. That is what we know. And that has been what God has been telling us. But there are certain things that we need to put in place before 
we can get all these things. So no matter how long you, you, you have been staying in church, no matter how long you think you are a Christian or you are a Muslim, whatever the, your, your denomination is, the, the, the thing that God wants you to understand is he wants you to know that he is the only one that when you put your, your trust in him, then everything that you want him to do, he will do it. So that is where our word, our the, the word is coming on, on to us. That the, those that put their trust, we must first make sure that our trust, our trust is in him. Some trust in chariot, some in horses. But he said, we will trust in the name of our Lord, our God. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate people that are online. God bless you for joining. Our moderator, Mother Celeste, has summed out. God bless you. That's my wife. God bless you for coming online every time. And I want to uh, bless the only name in, uh, in your life. I assure you, I really God bless you for coming online. And uh, in the, if you look at the Facebook account where you always comment, we have three things or four things there. We have love, we have like. And then we have share. Then there is it's another button. That yellow button is, is, is star. So you can give us star. Then you just click on that star. Then you to, then follow the instruction. So then you follow the instruction that is there. The star is on the Facebook. Just where you always comment. You see the star there. It's just a yellow star. Just give us stars. And as we, I we know that God is really using this platform to bless you. Give us that star. And as you are doing that, God will surely meet you. At the point of need in the in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And for people that are on the our Facebook, uh, our YouTube account, uh, we say God bless you for joining. God be with us. We we'll we be, we'll be with every one of us as we keep on moving in the power and mighty of God. And I pray that God will not leave us alone in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are online on both sides, on your on the Facebook account and on our YouTube account. God bless you. So what we are discussing is, is about trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. The, the, the account of what we have today is, is telling us they that put their trust in the name of the Lord, our God. If you look at that sound, I'm not going to start from that talk. I'm going to start from verse 7 and 8. 7 and 8, they are the one that those two, those two verses is telling us what God will do when we trust, put our trust in Him. So it's not just reciting that sound that makes it to work. What makes that sound to work is our trust. And Categorically, this psalm gave it, gave us what and what we need to do. God bless you, uh, uh Mother Celestia, uh, Mother Adekoye. God bless you for joining us. God bless you, God for joining us today. In the name of Jesus, God will surely meet you at the point of need in Jesus' name. Don't forget to like, to love, to share, and to like. And there's a star by that commenting period. Please just H O F of us put in the star. God bless you as a journal. So let us look at what God is, saying, is, is telling us. So that when we pray today, our prayer will be answered. It's not that we don't want to pray with that understanding. Let's look at what is, what is telling us. What is telling us. Look at that Psalm, that Psalm 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Trust in the name of our Lord our God. There is difference between just trust, but in the name, in the name, in the name, that is what is given unto us today. In the name, in the name of our Lord, of, of the Lord our God. Which name are you trusting on? What where do you put your trust? Some put their trust in the dollars, some put their trust in the wealth that they have. Some put their trust or the name that always comes to their mouth. When anything happens, 
is where their trust is. Hallelujah. You don't need to know. You don't need to just look. You don't need to look far. Let anything just happen. Something strange happen to somebody. The first thing, the first name that person is going to call is the automatic name that is inside that person. Oh, after calling that name, I say, ah, no, 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 that's not what I want to say. And start calling the name of Jesus. That is not. That is after. <laughs> that is not the truth. The truth is that you will always call the name that is within you from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks that is what the word of god is telling us whatever you have inside of you is what you are going to speak out whatever you have inside of you is what you are going to speak out you cannot speak what you don't what what is not inside of you so that is what god is making us to understand today because we want to, we will start calling the name the name because he said he has given us a name that is above all names. So that means that everything we are going to be doing today is going to be based on that name that he has given unto us. Because that in the name of our Lord, oh, in the name of our Lord. So that is what we want to use. That is what we want to use, the name. <laughs> oh, so he has given us a name that is above all names. So no matter what the name of what you are passing through right now, we are going to use that name because that when we trust in that name, the name will surely work for us. The name will work for us. The name will work for us. So if you don't have that name, there's no way <laughs> it's the there's no way the, the name will work for you. You have to first understand what the name is all about and what the name is going to do for us. So if you don't have the name, if you don't know the name, you cannot move forward. Hallelujah. So the name, what God is giving us to them is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> so he has given us a name above all names. All names. So when you are when you see people trusting in chariots, some people trusting in their horses, some people trusting trusting in their wealth, then you can understand where their faith or their trust is. Let us look at Philippians chapter two verse nine. Please help us to put it on the, on the, on the platform. Philippians chapter two verse nine. Philippians chapter two verse nine. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above all names. Hallelujah. <laughs> that at the name of Jesus, every nail shall bow in heaven and on earth. On anywhere that is, that name, that thing that has name is. So we can say that he has given us a name that is above all names. Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2. So verse 9 and 10. So if God has given us a name that is above all names, what is not telling us? That if we trust in that name, the name will surely work for us. If we trust in that name, if we trust in that name, the name we surely work for us. But where do you put your trust? That is the question today. That is the question that we are asking ourselves. So it's not just praying that matters. But where you put your trust is what we are going to look, we want to look at. So if your trust, if your trust is not in that name, <laughs> I bet you, you might just be wasting time. You might just be wasting the time. That is why I said, when we recite this this psalm after our silent prayer and we are just saying amen 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 nearly not everyone that is saying amen that understand that psalm very well because some people as even they are, as they are hearing that psalm they are their mindset is still on their properties their mindset is on where they want to go after the service so they their trust is not even in the name that is being called where is their trust in their property they have in whatever in, in what they have that is where they put their their mind and their, they, that that is where their trust is so they believe that if i hold on to this one 
I will fight. I can do this. Some people have this occult power. And in this occult power, that is where they put their own trust. And you think, and I want to tell you the truth. In this journey of life, we meet with so many people along the road. These people that we are meeting with, they are the same people that we are eating with. We are working, we, we are working in the same environment with them. But they know the name they believe in. But you that call yourself Christian, do you surely believe in that name? Do you know the name of the, 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 the name of your Lord? Do you surely are you sure that you know that name? That if you call that name. It will, it will answer you. Do you. Are you sure? Let me read that place again so that you can understand. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. So that we, when we start praying and we, we, you are calling on that name, it must be a name that you know. It must be a name that you understand. You cannot just call a name that you don't understand because it will just be what? As if you are just shouting. Let us go back and look at that Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. Wherefore God has given us highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in hell. And then things under needs that is under the earth. So we have things in heaven, the, the, the thing that is on the ground. And things that are under the ground, whatever that thing is that has name, whether it's a cultive name, whatever the name is, that they should what bow at the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then look at 11, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And let's go back to that Psalm, Psalm 20. Psalm 20 is telling us it's not just a psalm that you just believe you can recite. You don't when you recite it and you don't know what the content of what you are reciting, you are just wasting the time. Look at it that trust in the name of the Lord our God. And if you don't have your trust in that name, <laughs> you and uh, you call you call the name. It will just just be like that. You are calling somebody that doesn't understand. That you don't know. I doesn't know you. And look at that psalm very well. It, that verse eight. Those people that ask their trust in the name of other things that they are brought down and are falling, but we are risen and we stand upright. Why are we risen? Why why are you standing up? Why are we upright? Because we know the name of the Lord, our God. So the name is the major thing today. The name. If anything happens, you see people shouting all oh, these names. And that is what that is the content in their hearts. They might be, they might be Father Celestia, Mother Celestia, they can be pastor, they can be anything, but the name of our Lord Jesus Christ is not fluent in their mouth because they don't really trust. They believe in something that they, they, that they put under their clothes and that is what they put their trust in. We are talking about a name today. The name. The name. Oruko Jesu. Oni Oruko Jesu. Oruko Jesu. Ni Oruko Jesu. Oni ni kogwe kunko yeki ni kogwole. Yefi mo ikpe gbogbo nko toba nko maala koja. Anything you are passing through now, if that thing should have to, to back to the Uruko, then, then you have a name that can swallow that thing up. You want to use that name. You must, you must understand that name. You must know the potency of that name. That name is just a in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Oh, if I call, if I want to call you and I don't know your name and I, and I just Weasel, hello. I say, you, see, you might not answer me because that is not hello, it's not your name. But if I call your name and I don't call your name as somebody that knows you before, you'll just be wondering who is this one that's calling me. But if I call you and you understand my voice, you surely bow, you look back and say, Oh, oh, who is calling me? And this person that is calling me. So that means that 
you must have familiarized on yourself with that name. You walk a lot of coin at the moratel. That is, you must have accepted him as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. So this time is not something we just need to, 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 to recite over our prayer alone. Do you know the, the, the person that is being called? Do you know? Do you know who you are talking about? Do you know who the person is? Hallelujah. Show money, show many tea and sonic pie. Show many tea and sonic pie. Oh, oh, Miss Fabian, it don't go to quay. Oh, yo, to buy more police. That is the problem. You must know this man. You must know the, 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 uh, this God that we are talking about. You must know him. Why I'm emphasizing on knowing is just because that is the truth. If you don't know, you cannot call. If you call, it will not answer. And he told us, my own knows me. My sheep knows me. And that is knowing is the first thing. If you don't know, you cannot accept. If you have not seen me before, but you but by the time you know me, then you accept me. Then that is when we can relate together. We want to relate with him today. I want us to relate with him today as our Lord and Savior. Because tobacco a book of people, ah, let me just call the name and it will answer. That is not how he operates. Oh, he, he op, his operation is by you knowing him. His operation is by you knowing him. To bati mo ole shi chef wen. Mo bani adro alo ni, mo ni bi o shen koru kwa jesu, yo besi ni shi chef wo. Ni oru kwa jesu, bi o shen kwe, bi o shen kwe, yo smada olo Hallelujah. Before we start praying, I want you to understand this part. Very well. Do you know him? Are you ready to accept him? Even if you don't know him before now. Because that is where he will, that is where he, the area is going to operate from. He will not operate from because you are a member of the church. That is not the operation of Christ. Operation of Christ is not because you are a celestial or you are you are a redeemed or you are a Pentecostal. No, is in his operation is knowing him. Mimo lo fin shi she pele yon. Ki she ni pa pe ya. Bibi church by the mon When we get to heaven, there's no going to be which church do you go to? No, this is no, 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 no. What is going to happen is this. Do you know? Do you know him? Do you know him? Ti o ba molo ne. I'm ready to accept you as my Lord and, and, my, and my Savior. And I want to enter through you because He's the door, He's the truth, and what is life. If you don't go through the door or through the way, there's no way you can know the truth, and there's no way you can get life. And now, if you want Him to work for you, you must accept Him. Father Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. And I want to establish a relationship with you. As from today, I open my heart unto you. Reside in me. Be my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 And the next thing for you is what? Devote time for him daily. The more you, the more time you devote, devote unto him, the closer it will be to you. And as you do that, God will surely be with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now we want to go to that psalm and pray. So follow me. Father Lord, if there's anything in me that will not allow you to answer my prayer today, Father, forgive me. Father, Father Lord, forgive me. My sofolon, my balance. Speak with God today. Speak with Him. Speak with Him. Is we are going to be used more of His name today because that they that trust in the name, in the name, 
I know we use Jehovah Jesus Christ only Michael, but we want to work basically on the name today. We want to use that name because trust in the name. So the name is what we want to use basically today. So you just ask him to forgive you of all your sins and everything that you know you that we are we not allow the prayer of today to be answered. Today is the 20th day. So we are talking about we have another 26 days. Hallelujah. So if God, if you know him today, and then what happened? Everything we work for you and i pray today that everything will start working in your life in jesus mighty name amen so if you go to that psalm let's look at just the, the first one oh i forgot the cause of one psalm you know the pay oh lo ma defunwa ni igba ti abani lo kini tabani lo hallelujah oh my god in the day of trouble hallelujah and it's going to what defend us the first prayer is this, God, in the day of every trouble, me mother trouble to lack down, answer me. Psalm 46 verse 1, calling the present F in time of trouble. And today, he said that the Lord that you know his name, we what? We hear you in the day of trouble. In Jesus' name. Oh, ni oruko Jesu, Oluwa, ni oruko Jesu. Go mi, ni ba ti mo ba fo mi ki o pe Olorun, Olorun igbala mi. Gbogbo ti mo nla koja bo wahala to wa nu aye mi. Oluwa ni oruko Jesu, o ya ba mi mo kuro, o ya ba mi kuro ma so fo Olorun ya. Open your mouth and start praying. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, whatever is the thing that is going that my life is going through right now. In the name of Jesus, whatever the trouble that my life it's witnessing now. Oh, take me out of trouble. Can you just open your mouth and start and pray? Pray concerning that name. Use that name to pray. You will just in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. So you start praying. Start praying. Start telling God that today is a day that you will answer me because I know the name of the God that we are serving. I know him and I have a relationship with him. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Look at the same. We are still on that verse one. The name of the God of Celestia, God of Jacob, God defend thee. So, in everywhere you want to go to, you need the defense. You need Him to defend you. You need Him to 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 help you in this journey of life. And now, what do you want to do? Oh, Lua. In the name of Jesus Christ, be my defense. Be my defense. Be my defense. Can you just open your mouth and pray? In Jesus' mighty name, be my defense, O oh Lord. Be my defense, O oh Lord. You want him to what? To defend you anywhere you go to. There are some places where, where people are just mentioning your name. You are not there. But God is there to what? To work for you. And if he's there to work for you, what do you need? Just if you know his name, then he will be the one that will be fighting your battle for you. And he will be the one that will be defending you. And that is what you are doing today. Oh, can you just talk to him? Call his name to defend you. In any place where your name is being mentioned, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now we want to go to the third one. F. F from his sanctuary. Most of us, we always look for F from human being. Aman to in your Lord, Latin, Jekini, Latin, Rawalowo. But if you can only seek the help that you need from him, you will see that that help will come. He knows who to connect with, that will connect with you, and then answer that help, that, that will give you that help that your life needs. But, 
operates. That is why we leave you unto yourself. So you want to say, in the name of Jesus, Father, send help for me. Every time I need this help, Father Lord, let the help speak for me. Father, or you call him in, in Jesus' name. We are using it. They that trust in the name, in the name, in the name. So we call Jesus. Can you just open your mouth and pray? Tell him to send help unto you. Tell him to send help. Help. You need help. Only Oh, the help of human beings are just vanity. They are nothing but the help of God is the one you need. Just tell Father Lord, I need this help. Oh, send help unto me from your sanctuary. In Jesus' name, let your help come unto me from sanctuary. Let help come unto me from sanctuary. Can you just open your mouth and pray? Can you just open your mouth and pray? Can you just open your mouth and pray? Father Lord, I need this help. I need this help. Let this help come to me. Jeki, in a lower code, they see me. Jeki, in a lower code, they see me. Ma sofolono. Jeki, in a lower code, they see me. You need this help. Just talk to God. I need this help. Let this help come unto me. I help that is that is only you that can give it. I want you know, whatever you want, you can go to the big, to the big, to the big, to the big, Help from his sanctuary. 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 That is what you need. Help from his sanctuary. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Don't forget, please. There is always love. It love is the where you used to comment. There is a place that they put love. Just share it with love. If you know God is ministering unto you through this platform, love it, share it, and like it. And don't forget, there's a yellow button that is a star yellow. You see star. Just click on it and give us that as we are doing that. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Ah, that is uh, my brother Shogobeke. Supreme Evangelist Shogobeke, God bless you. Shogobeke, God bless you. Yes, though you are not paying for this advert, but I'm going to advertise you. If you if you are in, if you go to K2 International Headquarters Church, if you want to buy any spiritual item, just call on call him Shogobeke. He will give you the original one. Any one you want. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you. And uh, Mother Celeste Shinaba, God bless you for joining us. God bless you for joining us. <clears throat> oh, God bless you for joining us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. God bless you for joining us. Amen. Oh, as we say in Lord, so you want, the next prayer is this. The next prayer that you need to pray is this. <laughs> God, grant me my heart desire. Oh. Bere, Ulua, grant me my heart desire. O unto mbi lo do loro, o unto fe ki loro ko shefu e soft mo loro. O this is this is a psalm that he has, he has given unto us that my heart desire. Your what do you have in your heart? Oh, you need to confess it. One of this program will be talking about what we say from our mouth. How God answers it. We are going to come with that. Oh, so follow Lua. In the name of Jesus, grant me my heart desire. 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 Oh, yeah, my so follow. Oh, talk to God. Grant me my heart desire. Grant me my heart desire. Grant me my heart desire. In the name of Jesus, grant me my heart desire. Oh, grant me my heart desire. <laughs> oh, grant me my heart desire. Grant me my heart desire. Grant me my heart desire. In the name of Jesus. Grant me my heart desire. Grant me my heart desire. Oh, just sorrow for Lord. Oh, just bow Lord sorrow. Grant me my heart desire. Talk to God to grant you your heart desire. Grant me my heart desire. In the name of Jesus. 
grant me my heart desire in Jesus' mighty name. I don't know what you have been asking God for. Just open your mouth and pray. God, grant me my heart desire. What I have asked him to do. Oh, in the name of Jesus, grant me my heart desire. Master of Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, grant me my heart desire. Grant me my heart desire. Oh, grant me my heart desire. In Jesus' mighty name, grant me my heart desire. Master of Lord, oh, my Master of Lord, Master of Lord, Master of Lord, grant me my heart desire. Oh, yeah, my balance, my balance, my balance. Just talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Grant me my heart desire. Grant me my heart desire. Grant me my heart desire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Then another, another prayer point you want to go, you want to pray is this. When I cry, Father Lord, hear me. Do you know why you have to pray this prayer? In Genesis chapter 15, Abraham cried unto the Lord, and God acting to his prayer. So you too. So follow any time that I come before you and I cry in the name of Jesus, asking to my cry, oh Lord, asking to my cry, oh Lord, asking to my cry, oh Lord. Can you open your mouth and pray? Can you just talk to God, oh Lord, asking to my prayer, asking to my prayer, asking to my prayer in Jesus, oh yeah, my soul, Lord, in the name of God, Jesus Christ, oh, asking to my prayer, oh yeah, my bow, Lord, sorrow. Oh my, my. <laughs> oh, yes, of all Lord. I came to my prayer in the name of Jesus. I came to my prayer. Bow, Lord, so. 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 Oh, Lua, I came to my prayer. Oh, I came to my prayer. Oh, Lord, I came to my cry, oh Lord. When I cry unto you, Father, Lord, I came to my prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. There are some promises that God has given unto you. There are some promises that God has given unto you. There are some promises that has not been fulfilled. Can you call the name of Jesus Christ on those promises? So you, you, you want to call the name of our Lord Jesus Christ into that promise that has not been fulfilled. Father Lord, fulfill this promise in Jesus' mighty name. Oh Lord, in this 2023, I want to sort of let you go was in can you call the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and ask him to fulfill those promises unto you? Can you just ask him to fulfill? Fulfill! <laughs> oh, can you just open your mouth and pray? Tell God to fulfill that confidence. Those ones that God that, that has been hanging. <laughs> Don't forget, Abraham prayed the same prayer. Hmm. The hair was hanging. Then he has to do what? Father, Lord, are you not going to give me the hair? And what happened? God fulfilled that promise. Can you just talk to God? Can you just talk to God? Can you just talk to God? Hallelujah. Can you just talk to God? Can you just talk to God? In the name of Jesus, that Father, Lord, <coughs> can you just talk to God that that promises? Don't you suffer, don't you suffer me? Fulfill it, 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 fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Can you just open your mouth and pray? Can you just open your mouth and pray? Can you just open your mouth and pray? Tell God to fulfill. Tell God to fulfill those promises. 
tell God to fulfill that promise that He has be that has been spoken by the prophets. But those promises have not been fulfilled. Oh, can you just open your can you just open your mouth and pray and tell God, fulfill this promise for me in the name of Jesus. Fulfill this promise for me in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, all those promises that even you have you told my parents, even my grandparents, that oh, your sibling, I will make sure that they occupy this world. And those and what happened, the promise has not come to life. Can you just open your mouth and pray? And talk to God in the name of Jesus. Oluwa, fulfill this promise in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, fulfill this promise in my life. Fulfill this promise in my life. Fulfill this promise in my life. In Jesus' mighty name, fulfill this promise in my life. Oh, even in the life of my children, children, into the fourth generation. Fourth generation. Then they too, they will start with another fourth generation. They, will, they too, they will do what? They will fulfill another fourth, fourth generation. Man, so follow them. Oh, yeah, fulfill your promise in my life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let this promise, let it, oh, let it be fulfilled. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are still in the name. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now you want to pray this one too. God. Take me from the power that is sitting upon my glory. You want to call upon the name of Jesus Christ. They are sitting down on that glory. It can be from your father's house, can be your mother's house, can be anywhere that those powers those, those power are. But you want to call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father of every power that is sitting down upon my glory. In the name of Jesus, unseat them. She wanted to crow. But back back to Joko, sorry, Joko, so sorry, Guaye, me. Oh, right, she wanted to crow. Can you open your mouth and pray? Every part that is sitting down on top of my glory. Father Lord, unseat them. Unseat them. Unseat them. Can you open your mouth and pray? Can you open your mouth and pray? Can you just talk to God? Every, any part that the enemy has, that is using. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Unseat this power in the name of Jesus. Unseat this power in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, 
Begin to use that name, the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, unseek them. Unseek them. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, unseek them. Unseek them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, unseek them. Unseek them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. That's Columbus Parish. Thank you about joining. Thank you for joining on, on, on uh, YouTube. Um, Mother Celestia Fashola, thank you for joining us in YouTube. God bless you for joining us. Hallelujah. You see, I have to pray. I have to pray. I don't have to tell you, but you see, we have been given a name that is above all names. I want you, please, I don't know what the doctor's report has been on in, in, in your life. Kenya won't continue to suffer. And don't still ask a name. You want to start using the name of Jesus Christ to, to, to take care of those names. Some people have been they have, they have been diagnosed of rheumatism and they said that yeah, just go and be managing it. Some people have been diagnosed of bad things that are. Ah, I don't share you Kobogo, but I have no funeral. If the if that disease has a name, and you have a name that is that is above all names, that supersedes something that is in heaven. This is something that is on earth, something that is even even under the under the earth. So that means that you can use that name to nullify that human being's report. That is where you, I want you to work now. You want to start this talking to those things that the enemy has given unto you, or him or your doctor has given unto you, or whatever they have said concerning your life. That oh, this thing cannot work again. Just go and be managing it. That is schedule law, whether rheumatism, fibroids, barrenness, whatever the name is, call that name and call the name of Jesus Christ to swallow those things up. We have Magbadra, Magbadra, Magpurko Jesko, Magbadra, Magpurko Jesko, Magbadra. I want to use that name to take to swallow up all those evil names, all the things that the report of man. I won't continue to suffer your shit, your show, my shelly. That is of negative things. So for long, but it's not your portion. It's not your portion because the name of Jesus said that name will take care of those things. We are my bow long so my bow long so my bow long so my so for long. Let it shed your love. Ni oru ko Jesus. Ni oru ko Jesus. Ni oru ko Jesus. Bogo ipa chagbara hita wanu Christa kuri. Oh ya tu ko Jesus. Bogo ro chati so every every word that he that human being has said. And that has spoken to command concerning my life or concerning my children in the name of Jesus. I use this name that is above all names. Oh, in, in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, take this ailment away. Can you just open your mouth and pray? Can you just open your mouth and pray? Can you just open your mouth and pray? Can you just open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus that, oh, I take authority over every name that is not of yours, that, that uh, of every word that is not spoken by you, but is spoken by men, whether by my parents, whether by doctor, whether by my siblings, whoever the person is that has that, has that name, that has spoken that name concerning, concerning my life, and that they are negative words in the name of Jesus. I take authority over those names in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, no call Jesus. Yeah, no call Jesus. Yeah, my will be so. My will be so. Oh yeah, start using that name for healing. Use that name for healing. Use that name for healing. Use that name to, to heal you of all those words, every cause that the enemy has given unto you. Use that name. Malur koye, malur koye. We are about to round up for today, but I want to start using that name. Malur koye Jesus. Lati shikini, lati shia wotoa, lati wuchia wotoa oye. Bukuru kotiati kpe, bukuru kotiati sosino aye. 
Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, Master of Lord. Mass 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 of Lord. Whatever that name is. Whatever that name is. Whatever that name is. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mamukur. Oh, yeah, Mamukur. Oh, yeah, Mamukur. Oh, yeah, Mass of Lord. Oh, yeah, Mass of Lord. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Wa mule riche. Wa mule riche. Mo faye mi si le fun o. Wa mule riche. Ho. Wa mule riche. Wa mule riche. Mo faye mi si le fun o. Wa mule riche. Ho. Wa mu le riche oluwa wa mu le riche mo fa ye mi sile fun o baba wa mu le riche hallelujah now to round everything up today you want to pray father give me peace and keep me from falling oluwa fi alafia sinu aye mi je ki alafia nla ko wonu aye mi you need peace. Everybody needs peace. Even the whole world needs peace. And keep me standing. Maja king shubwa, rama king shubwa me. Holwa in the in you. Keep me standing. Only I want to be kelly arawo. Don't be kelly onti woni. Woni won kose. Once it's shubu, shubu kini. I want the day. I want the drosishi. Can you just open your mouth and pray? Can you just open your mouth and pray and talk to God? Oh Lord, in my house, in my home, in every area of my life, let your peace, let your peace reign. Jeki alafia reko joba, holwa. Jeki alafia reko joba. Mi o godo shubara ben, mi o godo shubwe me. Holwa yani oruko Jesu. Jeki alafia reko joba. Jeki alafia reko joba. Jeki alafia reko joba. Oh, Jeki alafia reko joba. Oshé olorun jano. Oshé baba. Oh, yes, so follow my ba olorun so. Ma so follow mo mo fi alafia. If you want to fake your life, Lord, wherever you want God to put peace, that you want to witness peace, just keep on decreeing peace. Ma pasha la fi asbe, ma pasha la fi asbe. We are about to round up and I'm about to give you this discreet. Oh yeah, ma pasha la fi asbe, ma pasha la fi asbe, ma pasha la fi asbe. Oh, ma sofo Lord, let there be peace in my home. Let there be peace in my life. Let there be peace. In everything that surrounds my life, in my in the life of my children, the life of my wife, in my, in, in my ministry, let there be peace. Oh, dear God, right, that oh, yes, so for long, so for long, you for near life, yeah, you're going to just be a shame, God, right, you're going to just a laugh your long, you're far on in my year, how do you want your long ago? In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen, hallelujah. I want to pray for you. Just be saying amen and be typing amen. We can just type if I have a to type. And as we used to greet everyone that is online today, we say thank you for joining us. We are really appreciate you. We really exhort you. We thank God for coming online every time. And for people that we I cannot see, but I, I know God as God is going to honor you and give you all your heart desire. And as you have used the name of Christ today to decree and to speak unto those situations, you will surely. Receive help from him in Jesus' mighty name. And for everyone that were, that are on our YouTube channel, we say God bless you for joining. And God will not leave us alone in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want you to just be saying amen while I declare unto you. In the name of Jesus, the help that your life needs, receive it today in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to know what I hear anymore. From heaven above, God will send you up in Jesus' mighty name. The help that you need. The help that your family needs. On concerning that situation that you have been crying alone and be asking God, when are you going to answer me? I decree in the name of Jesus. Oh, help from above. Comfort into your life today in Jesus' mighty name. All your offerings, all your sacrifices, 
all your petition in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we grant it grant them today in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus, I command and I decree destiny helpers from the north, south, east, and west. They will locate you in Jesus' name. They will locate you in Jesus' name. They will locate you in Jesus' name. Wherever you need help, and people are not yet responding to that help. Because of today's prayer, help will come your way. I want you know what you could need be more. Ah, the help that we don't need any committee for. The help that we just is just from God that will touch the heart of the king, that will touch the heart of the, uh, of chiefs, governors, presidents, and they will locate you to give you that help in the name of Jesus. Receive that help today. And as you put your trust in his name, his name will work for you now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. <laughs> In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I pray today, as we have just joined him out and we have prayed for, for his help, the help will surely locate us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Tomorrow is another day. That is on the that's 21th day of the Lenten period. And don't forget that Sundays are removed from this from those Lenten periods. Sundays are removed. If Sundays are removed, that means that we have six Sundays in the 46 days, then we are going to be having thoughts. But for all these prayer days, we are going to observe, be observing all the prayers days. So it's going to be 46 prayer days. Whereas if you can fast for those 40 days, good. If you cannot fast, hallelujah. If you cannot fast, there's no point. There's no harm in that. But what is important is that, number one, you must be praying seven times a day. If you cannot fast, why don't you devote your, 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 yourself to to pray seven times, 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., then 6 p.m., 9 p.m., then the midnight, the midnight prayer. It's making seven every day. So if you can just observe that, that is okay. If you just, if that is only thing you can do, but be, make sure that you are praying. Don't let these days just go without you praying. I pray that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it will be with us in Jesus' name. So tomorrow we'll be working with Psalm 40, Psalm 40, Psalm 40, my help and my deliverer. I pray God is going to give you a new song in Jesus' name. If you look at that verse 3 of that Psalm 40, he said that, and he, uh, he puts a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the name of the Lord. Amen. You see, we are talking about trusting in the Lord. Trusting in Him. Only pay, only what you only to see me learn. You only call Jesus. Only you only to see me learn. So I post to put it on the platform. Psalm 40. That is what we are going to be working with tomorrow. You only call Jesus. I you are to go alone. I you are I you alone. You only for us And as you are going to your respective places of work or you are at home resting, I, whatever the, 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 the time zone is at your end, I pray that his protection will be upon you. And the help that your generation needs, you will receive it in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us just give God that seven wonderful hallelujah to seal everything up. Seven wonderful hallelujah to seal it up. Don't forget, tomorrow we are working with Psalm 40. So that is what we are going to use. Seven hallelujah to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We thank God because God is wonderful. And I pray that as we meet tomorrow, your testimony is next in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shalom.